Hi again, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time watching, my name is Ifi Agunu. I am a Nigerian living in Malta. I've been living here for five years. So here, basically I talk about my faith as a child of God. I talk about my family and just life generally. I mean, life living in Malta and everything you can possibly think about. Just basically sharing my experiences through life's journey. Right, so today, as you can see from the title, I'll be talking about ways to migrate to Malta. To be honest, since I started this channel, like I've gotten lots of questions regarding, especially on my social media pages, regarding ways to migrate to Malta. So here you go. Right, so before I continue, please do not forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Right, okay, so um, first of all, I would start by saying, oh, Fortunately, Malta does not have a proper or let's say laid out immigration program like the permanent residents came in Canada, Australia and other countries, right? In Malta, there's really nothing like that, to be honest, right? There are other ways though through which people can migrate to Malta just like we did, so stay tuned. So the first way through which you can move to Malta is by getting a job. Like it's that easy. I mean, what I mean is that easy. It's if you apply for a job and you get offered an employment, the employer will apply for your work permit. Once you get the work permit, you would send your document, your passport actually. So now initially it used to be really, really difficult. It was a hassle getting visa. Especially if you're coming from a country like Nigeria, right? Or any other th third country, nation, nation, right? It was not very straightforward. Most of the time, they would refuse the visa. I know a lot of people that had to travel to Dubai, Ghana, Egypt, just to, to apply for a visa, even when you have the work permit in hand. And that's because Malta does not have a, an embassy in Nigeria in this case. So once you send your passport down, together with i think your passport together with like a bank statement and a few other documents you send it down they will stamp your visa your passport they will issue the visa and you know, send it back to you and it's i mean that's it it's really really easy now compared to how it used to be before and trust me once you have a work permit you are as good as <laughs> it's as good as already been here because for sure they would I don't think I've, I've, I know of anyone whose visa was denied here in Malta, right? So that is how it works now. So just get a job. Yes, I know it might be difficult getting a job, but then there are some professions, there are some fields that they are constantly in need of these professions. So IT, number one, IT, like IT is really, really vibrant here. Then we have healthcare and um, even hospitality. I mean, the truth of the matter is that it's not a cast of stone. It doesn't have to be like be this fields, but just apply for the job. You can apply for jobs through job portals. I would post links down here, credible job portals. And some of these jobs, when you go through the requirements, you see that they would actually even state there that they can sponsor um, people who are not immortal yet, right? So you could go to job portals and then another one that is really key that I find really, really a lot of people have gotten jobs through is via the career pages of some companies, especially the big fours, KPMG, PwC, Deloitte and EY. I mean, these companies are always on the lookout to, you know, recruit people from abroad sponsor their work permit and i mean that that's how we came here in the first place right or through gaming companies there are several very good gaming companies that would always recruit people from outside Malta. you know so far you have the skill sets that they are looking for you know so be it it audit accounting gaming and a few healthcare i mean doctors nurses and you know what have you even educationists as well i mean people who are into education right you can just apply for job just i mean because sometimes it might be like oh career page but they would actually acknowledge and you know provide a feedback on your application regardless we came here through job via the job route and i know several people like 
lots of people in fact at the moment i think i know about three people three families that are relocating here through jobs that they have gotten right and they don't live here yet so just go on all these sites go on and there are there are there are several vacancies on like especially like these big four companies you would actually see that they recruit from time to time right so i check check for anyone that matches your skill set and apply yeah so aside job portal companies career page i know there are a few agencies i would i would put the link down where that actually i know there are agencies that actually do sponsor applicants looking to move down to motor especially if they have the skill set and even aside skilled jobs i know of an agency that actually does recruit from abroad those in the hospitality industry like waiters um room attendants front desk um bartenders i, I mean that kind of field i have i know i know a few i know i think one or two that actually does help how it works for them is that you would have to pay the agency fee sorry not agency fee and sorry please disclaimer here there might be a few agencies that will be asking you to pay some kind of funds please no i mean those i do not i don't know maybe there are some that are credible but i would really not advise it you know the only thing that they might ask you to pay is for your work permit 280 euros for work permits because they possibly are not willing to sponsor your work permit. and i think they, you might have some sort of contract with them in the sense that when they get you the job after you move you cannot i think you will be you have a contract for like two years you cannot leave or two years six months depending you cannot leave the company on Except or if you have to leave, you have to pay them something like that. Do not believe any agency or anyone saying, okay, they would sponsor your application or you just pay them a particular fee. No. This work permit fee of 200 and 280 euros, you must have gone through a series of interviews. You would actually have a job offer in hand and then it will not be at the stage where you need to pay. And I think even for you to even pay, I don't know if you can do it directly or if you have to pay them. But I know there's like some sort of portal where you would, you know, you could pay directly to identity malls and not to the agents you know so i'll just list a few credible agencies that i was able to lay my hands on and you could try that out as well so aside job another way through which people can actually move as well is via school route you know so like if you want to study if you want to do your master's or your bachelor's degree or if you want to even just do some sort of professional course you know that would enable you now seek for employment afterwards i know lots of people who moved here to study and they still live here and work as well so it could be true school right we have different schools we have two one major university university of malta and then we have um mcast as well malta college and of arts and science and technology i think yeah so we have mcast mcast where you could do even a degree as well master's program and other um, technical courses right i will drop the link to these institutions down below so we have other private universities as well and these universities would obviously help in whatever process it would take to be issued a visa right so so assess work school there's also family reunification so meaning you already have a family member that lives in malta either your husband or your wife your spouse basically that lives in malta that is now willing to sponsor you to relocate to Malta as well. So that's another way that you can move. Although the sponsor has to be able to meet a few requirements in terms of income, housing, and but I mean it's not it's not uh, anything extraordinary, right? So you can move through that means as well. And then we have the Malta Global Residency Program. Malta Group. Yeah, I think that's it. This particular program, there are some requirements though to, to be successful on this particular program. I think so. There are there's the there's two major requirements. One is that you have to have a home, like you need to buy a home here in Malta, and then you need to also pay some sort of tax. And I think there are other checks and due diligence that they do, right? So these four ways are ways through which you can move to Malta. But I would say for sure that the walk route is like the most popular that's one of the most common ways through which people actually do move to malta i mean just with take a little faith and apply 
So like I mentioned, IT, healthcare, hospitality, finance, uh, if you have gaming experience and if you speak a language, oh wow. Like if you speak like French, Dutch, German, like any other language, oh no, if you would, they're always looking for people like you in the gaming industries and gaming companies do actually pay well, right? So I'll be talking about the different salary ranges and what you should expect to earn in the next video. See you. I hope this has been helpful. Do not hesitate to reach me if you have further queries. Bye.